Well, good evening, everyone. I'm Joe Gazin. And I'm Leslie Adamy. At the top tonight, news about the Johnson & Johnson one-dose COVID vaccine being halted by the CDC and FDA after six women were diagnosed with serious blood clots in the brain. Now, we have since learned that one of those women has died. Now, the government has recommended that providers across the country temporarily stop administering that vaccine. In Wessex County, the City County Health District is complying with that recommendation. But as Argulissa Garza found out, the pause on that one and done vaccine is causing at least one setback locally, specifically the effort to make sure the homeless population is protected. It is our top story tonight at 10. City County Public Health Director Annette Rodriguez says the recommendations coming down from the FDA and CDC to stop administering the Johnson & Johnson vaccine creates a small setback towards achieving herd immunity for the coastal bend. This vaccine was one and done. And we were looking forward to saying all these more people are completely fully vaccinated with the one dose just for the hopes that we could get closer to herd immunity. So we do worry. But she says vaccine clinics and vaccination efforts will continue just like they did before Johnson & Johnson was in the picture. We're accessible here at ABC at Richard Borchardt and we're running all three simultaneously, which takes a lot out of our staff but we're willing to do it for our citizens. Future vaccination programs for the city of Corpus Christi, like the Help Our Homeless program, could also see a setback, according to Mayor Paulette Guajardo. You know, we had planned to use the J&J &J vaccination for that, as that is an ideal of one-shot vaccine for our homeless population. Guajardo says her team is working with organizations that serve the homeless population to help move forward with this program, even without the help of the one and done Johnson & Johnson vaccine. We are working with them to see what day of the week and what hour of the day is best for us to go once we do or once we are able to move forward. Even if it's unknown what vaccine will be used, she says vaccinations for the homeless population will still happen. Should that come back, it would even it would help us more. It would help the, uh, helping our homeless. It would help that program tremendously. Uh, but we will, like we've done everything else, we will figure out a way to 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 get them vaccinated regardless. Julissa Garza, Three News.